weren't planning to no. get pregnant. No. I wasn't not planning to get pregnant. Hmm. This is the first. So what happened was. Tell that T. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. It's your boy, Ricky Jones Jr. and the lovely Crystal Jones. And we are back for another tea time story time, okay? I got my tea and my la jock, and we gonna tell a little story about how we lost 5K on the quick. Go ahead, start it off, Crystal. So, Ricky and I were married. We got married. We was living in Atlanta. We moved to Florida, Tampa to be exact. And we moved in with my parents. Um, initially because that could give us time to find a place to stay. And we were looking to purchase yep. um, a place to live, a home or a town home or something. So. Because we had to figure it out. Because, of course, you know, I've never lived in Tampa. Crystal never lived in Tampa as a married woman. So it was like a totally new or dynamic. Homeowner or homeowner or any of such thing like that. And so we was like, we need to try to figure it out. We had, well, I had a new job at the church. Of course, she was working at the church as well. So we was like, we need to figure out how life is gonna operate for us. So living with her parents was the best situation, right? So we went to go look for a home and then... And then it got very interesting, okay? Because we didn't know how things actually operated here in Tampa. Okay, if anybody who know, who lives in Atlanta, like you know housing prices are a lot different, manageable, and feasible in Atlanta than it is here in Tampa. Okay, that was reality check number one. Okay, reality check number two is we couldn't live the city life as we did in Atlanta here in Tampa. Okay, that was reality check number two because that's how we live life in Atlanta life. We was in the midst. We was in the city. Like, our first apartment was in the city. We were steps. I could throw a rock from our apartment to the Capitol building. Like, that's how close we live downtown. Like, we were walking distance to Centennial Olympic Park. Shouts out to Greg. If he sees this video, he can attest to that. Okay, that's another story for another time. Anyway, we was, like, living that life. And then after that, we was, like, I would walk to work. I had a part-time job. I could walk to walk to work like I could walk to the train because I worked at the airport so it was just like we live life that way live in the Piedmont okay like we just live life that way so we came out here reality check number two we wasn't gonna live in the city okay so womp 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 so then we had to figure out what we could do okay we realized we wasn't gonna live in a home so we found a town home okay it was a new development new neighborhood and we were like okay cool we could see ourselves living out here it's not far from her parents house and it's not far from the church so of course ideal 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 um and so we of course went through the process y'all know how it works you get your realtor you get your town home usually when you make a home purchase you have to make a down payment so for the new home we had to make a twenty five hundred dollar down payment cool no problem we've been saving money standing at her parents place no problem like we do that we had the money you know what i'm saying you know that's what you do the reason why you map out the plan things like that anyway so we did that and um you know in the midst of everything and the excitement chris got pregnant okay so this what happened with that so this the thing we weren't necessarily we weren't planning to no. get pregnant no. I wasn't not planning to get pregnant. Hmm. This was the first. So what happened was. Tell that T. I was. I had stopped taking any type of contraceptive to prevent pregnancy. And I was like on internet, Pinterest and stuff. Cause Why did you stop taking these contraceptives? Because they be making people crazy sometimes. People like, or you? People, women, so, they hormones be all over the place. So you took the contraceptive and other people got crazy. Sometimes they take theirs. I take mine. Okay. People get crazy. Oh, okay. So you stopped taking yours for the sake of others. For the sake of me. Hmm. Okay. I felt like we could double I didn't like how day. it was making me feel like I just oh, didn't like that. Okay. So I said, you know what? I'm over this. I'm finna use mapping as a contraceptive method. Mm. It's an all natural method. And we have been successfully using that. So 
in mapping, you know exactly the days that you probably most likely to get pregnant. Like, that's basically what mapping is. So, I was on the internet and I was looking up, like, you know how sometimes you be on the internet late at night and you just end up in this, like, web of, like, information. So, I was in the web of information and it was talking about, like, how to get pregnant. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that would actually work. Like, I wonder if that would actually work. If that would happen, if I would actually get pregnant. So, we were having a married night. And I was like, hey, this is actually like the prime night where I would get pregnant. I don't remember that. I wonder if I would actually get pregnant. You didn't say that to me. No, I, I didn't say this to him. I oh, said okay. It in my head. Huh. These are internal this, mind thoughts. This is T. I so, never heard this conversation. In my with head, herself. I was like, to myself, I was thinking, man, this is normally a day where you should skip intercourse because it's like the most likely day to get pregnant. But I was thinking to myself, how would I ever know if I would get pregnant unless I do it? So, I did. And then, I was like, well, guess we'll find out. So, but, okay, so part of the process, too, after, and, of course, you got to put your legs No, you got, no, no, that's another story for another time. That's another for, yeah, that's another story for another time. I did not know I, we conceived our first child due to an internet search in I the dark, know dark web. happen. I was, okay. I figured no, the no, worst no, thing okay. that that's would okay. happen. That's, that's another story for another time. I did not know that. We're going to have to talk off camera about that story before we share it with y'all. Because, you know, I'm fighting the tear right here because I didn't know. Why? That. I didn't know. You know, I love my it's daughter. not like I was poking you holes in know. condoms. Maybe that was step two. I don't know. You no, because you know, I wasn't she's actually one-upper. trying to get pregnant. You I were wasn't... wondering if it happened. I was wondering if it would happen. I wasn't and trying to get outcome, pregnant. I was just thinking, I wonder if this will happen. The outcome of, I wonder if this was happen, could happen is pregnancy. Okay, so you were attempting to get pregnant. Anyway, I wasn't okay, trying another to time. Pregnant. Comment below if you think due to her story that she just said, was she attempting to... It was like to, an experiment. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. I'll let you speak. Okay. Comment below and let us know if you think Crystal was attempting to get pregnant or not. What do you want in the comment below saying? Comment below if you understand. I was just experimenting. I was just wondering, would I get pregnant? I was. I wasn't trying to or not trying to. Okay. I wasn't doing either. I okay. was just. You don't have to. You have to explain yourself. You don't have to explain yourself. That was too much for the comment section. Okay. You know what to comment below. Okay. So. So we got and the rest pregnant. Of the story. We got pregnant. We got pregnant, and the townhome that we found at the time was a two bedroom with a loft. Right. So, of course, we were like, that would not be enough room because we don't want to be limited in space out with this new purchase. So we were like, oh, man, we back to the drawing board. So we started looking at other townhomes, even within that community. And we went and talked to the realtor there because, of course, when you have like new construction, you go to the model home and there's a person that represents the company and the builders there as opposed to the realtor that you have. Or oh, but before we left, remember, we picked all our stuff for the townhome. Yeah, yeah. That was very nice. Yeah. So we did that. We got pregnant by way of experiment. And mm -hmm. um, we talked to the person there and we were like, oh man, like this place is no longer suitable for this family or for our family because now we're expecting. So like we went in with this plan because we had the idea that we weren't gonna get the money back, but we went in with the, oh, we having a baby story, hopefully, you know. Which was true. Getting a, oh my gosh, we understand response. However, we were dealing with a man, okay? And um, I wanna say his name, can I say his name? His name is Dave, okay? <laughs> we was dealing with Dave. And Dave was not really comprehending what we were coming from. He was more like, oh, well. You picked all the stuff in the house. Mm, so we're not going to be able to give you your money back. Okay, so. We're like, but we need this $2,500. We need we this $2,500, sir. Like, we need you to be understanding. Do you know how you're uh, supposed to well, have a you baby? Know, it doesn't really work like that. And we have to keep your money, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, it's all good. We lost that $2,500. But we've been saving. 
So we like. All right, whatever. We got to keep it moving. So then we found another townhome. In the midst of looking at all these other townhomes, we found another townhome. Actually, like the next community to well, the, the ones we just, just um, purchased, like right there. All right, so boom, we found a, another builder, of course, with another person we had to deal with. His name was Dave as well. Another like we day. left one day to another day. So I already went in there with a little apprehension, but it was like, all right, like we're gonna work it out. We're gonna be all right. So we found the town home, and you know, in the midst of all that, we didn't like soup up that town home because it cost a little bit more. Because of course it was a little bit bigger because now we have a family of three. And then she started talking to her brother, Brian was like, hey, Brian, we're going to move over here. He was like, oh, snap, sis, like, I'll move over there. You know, we've always wanted to live together or next to each other. And so we'll move down there. They happened to move, like, two doors down. So it would have been our, well, it would have been their town home, door, door, our town home. Like, we were going to be that close, right? It was so exciting. It was so exciting. Like, they found theirs. They beasted it out. Y'all already know, Pastor Brian, boom. Thanks. Next level, okay? Interior Great. designer. If y'all need somebody with some concepts and some ideas, hit him up. Amazing. He hears from God and he already has visions. Like it's boom, hit him up. All right, so, or hit us in the comments. We'll shoot you the contact mm, referral fee. We'll figure that out. Anyway, so we do all that and then what happened? Like we got to the signing table, like when we we're about to get the town home, like yeah, the final situation so right so many emails like oh you're gonna do this and this Boom. is you put this much down Boom. and this and this Boom. so we had put it you had to put another 2500 down 25. when we y'all already know to reserve it 2500 so but then like when is it, it comes time to sign there's mm -hmm. all like closer to you get to signing they're sending all these papers all the papers and i'm looking at all these papers, and i'm starting to look at these like numbers and i'm like hold on and she'll do numbers but she will look at paperwork listen I don't do all this math, but I know how to read a number when I see it. Hello, and I when ain't it changed, I had nothing, and I was like, "Hold on, sir." Pause, pause. This pause. look like high, like sixteen hundred some dollars, like a month or something like that. That's not gonna work. That, that wasn't what you said in the beginning. So I said we need to go down there. So we went down hmm. there. I was like, "Dave, what is this?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, you know." And then what's the interest rate and the PMI and but the it's mortgage gonna be worth, insurance and the, It's going to be worth a million dollars in 10 years. And I was like, sir, 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 what is this? We got to get credit. What is happening? No, yeah, you got a good interest rate and then all the money. And I was like, sir. And he's like, nah, but it's going to be worth all this money. I was like, sir. Let me help you understand. I don't care what it's worth in 10 years if you evict me in three months. Hello. I can't pay this. Hello. This too many dollars. No, no. I got a baby on the way. Hello. Don't you understand? Huh. So he's like, well. Y'all know how them hospital fees be like. Well, every time you go to the doctor when you're having the baby, every month is like $450. So much money. So Just I'm case, like. Just in case you wondering. Right. Stack your coins, then have a baby. Yeah. So I was like, sir, like, no, these numbers, I'm sorry. I want to say it was like 1689 or something insane. I was yeah. like, that wasn't what we agreed to when we. I was like, I can't, we cannot. Work. Like, this is hundreds more. Like, this is not, no, 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 sir. This is not going to work for us. I'm sorry. It's a no. Nah. He's like, oh, well, you know, I can't give you your money back. Heard that story before. I'm heard having it from a, a baby. Dave. We heard it from a Dave. Dave number two. Dave number two? How could you? This Facts. is ridiculous. Facts. So needless to say, I don't want to talk to any other Dave's. If we go to another home, talk to another buyer, or excuse me, talk to another seller, and her name is Dave, we're not talking. Don't want to hear it. Matter of fact, I don't even want to deal with no Dave right now. If you're selling something and your name's Dave, you better change your name before you deal with me. I was like, this is insane. Like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, we can't do this. Can't so do it. We left there. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's nothing we could do. We couldn't just be like, oh, okay, well, we'll just stick with it. No, we didn't have the money to stick with it. Nope. We would have been evicted. Immediately. And or one eight. We would have had a place to stay with no food to enjoy it in. Or gas. Or gas to even get there. To get to work. <laughs> So we would have lost it because we didn't have money to pay. We so, couldn't even work for home because we wouldn't be able to afford internet. It no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Anyway, in the midst of all that, we had been looking at different townhomes. So after that, I was like, okay, 
5,000 down. Y'all think the story ends there? Nope. So I go, I tell my dad, I'm like, dad, I'm like going like to have a heart to heart with my father, my late father. I'm going to have a heart to heart with him. And I'm like, dad, me and Ricky prayed. Like we prayed about these homes. Like what's going on? Like we're $5,000 down. We thought that God said this, these was the homes. We think we could hear from God. Like what's really going on? Like we can't just be wasting this money. Like this, this is crazy. And he just looked at me, you know, and you know how you like be waiting for like the wisdom that you need, especially when you in a situation where you down. I looked at him, I was like, dad, like we wasting all this money like this. And he looked at me and he leaned in and he was like, Crystal, it's not about the money. And then there were no more words. There were no words after that. I was sounds like, like That sounds like it. But what about the money though? <laughs> <laughs> like, I was just looking, like that's all you said. Crystal, it's not about the money. That's I was like for the money response. That was good. I was just like Bravo. They but what's say. happening? Like we thought we heard from God. Like we're wasting this money, like it's 5K. Go. I mean, the first 2,500, it's like, that sucks, but we've been staying here rent-free so graciously. Thank you mm -hmm. so much, Mom and Dad, for that. Mm -hmm. We've been staying here graciously, yes. rent-free. Yes. Like, we don't really have to worry about food. You, you keep groceries in the house. Like, all these things taken care of. You ain't asked for no utility, nothing. So the first 25, okay. Got it. The second 25? Wait a minute. My baby getting closer. This is 5K total, though. Yeah. Not to mention, now I'm pregnant. And I'm trying to think about, I'm trying to, you know, have a baby and have a place to stay with my baby. Yeah, because that's a whole nother pressure. Time is, time is coming. Husbands. Time is coming. Like, it's not like the baby going to wait till we find the house. The baby coming when the baby coming. So, that's the pressure I had every day. I was the, like, oh, my pressure. gosh. So we got to figure this out. So we found a spot. Thankfully, we found a yes. spot. Um, it happened to be a place that um, we just so happened to see in the midst of all the looking. It was my actually, was looking. yeah, I didn't know if he was gonna put it in there, but we was actually like looking for a spot, and we were like, nah, we don't want to live this far, uh, so Wesley Chapel, far. and you know, we were like, oh, it's so far for Tampa. Really, it was just further than we were used to driving to going to her parents' house. Uh, but anyway, we found the spot. They wanted five thousand dollars down. They did? Yes. Oh, man. They wanted five. Ricky was like, Crystal, if we sign this paper, you cannot change your mind anymore. Sounds this about is right. it. That sounds about right. And I was like, okay, give me five minutes. And I tried to go on Zillow just to make sure, you know? And I was like, nah. Because I'm going to be honest. At that moment, you're like, well, Crystal, why did you go to Zillow instead of, like, praying real fast? Because I already did that. You see where it got me. So I just said to myself, Zillow, if you out there, a guy gonna have to pop it up on this Zillow thing. But if Christian speaks, I'll tell you what. I'm just saying, I was like, look at this. Yeah. Now listen, y'all know sometimes you feel like you done prayed yeah. and you feel like you heard from God. Right. And then it be like, wait, what the, what is this? Mm. You $5,000 down and don't understand I why. And I mean, honestly, I can't even give you no profound answer to why stuff like that happens sometimes. Because I went to the profound person that I know, my daddy, and all he said to me was the money, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. I'm still trying to find the answer to what that meant. Still. I might have to wait till I see him in heaven. <laughs> like, I ain't never got my answer. Like, you know, ultimately, <laughs> we could have been praying to God about this townhome scenario. And God could have showed us that, that Wesley Chapel townhome was the townhome. We didn't want to hear that. Because it's it so far. Too far for us at the time. However, it was that 5K that we had already spent that we needed and had to end up spending. Yes. In Wesley Chapel. So, so it took us 10K. 10K. You know, to buy our first place to live. You start spending money to a point where you forget how much money it is. You just, I get to that point. You just spend it. Like, whatever blackout, it is what it is. So, I forgot Whatever that blackout, that's it's what, what it is. <sighs> the Western Chapel home, hello. <laughs> we got it and we end up living in it. That was our first home. Yeah. 
Yes, we first made home, it. First time home, we had such good memories in there. Like, we had awesome parties in there. We had people to stay with us in there. I um, had my our had rain. baby before we got there. She was three months old when we moved there, yep. but it really wasn't the end of the world. That's right. So we love you, beautiful people, and we thank you. Come and cut this thing short because the battery about to die. We love you. We thank you. We'll be back for another. Man, we got to finish that whole pregnancy story. Like, we got to. <laughs> I want to hear it. We, I'm going to hear it with y'all. I'm not even going to ask her when it goes off. I'm going to wait to hear it with you. But in the meantime, go ahead and watch some videos. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Subscribe right there and watch this video and then that video. Subscribe and then that video, that video. Subscribe, okay? Do that, this first, and that, and then that. Until next time, we love you. You want to say something before we go? Peace. Peace.